But with the green card and everyday preferred card, we would have earned 11,550 membership rewards points. Hey guys, my name is Matt, and today we're going to be taking a look at a credit card setup that earns you American Express membership rewards points. Is the American Express green card and the everyday preferred card an often overlooked credit card setup? It's a low cost setup that I think goes overlooked quite often. I don't normally think about these cards because they don't have flashy high welcome offers or lounge access or travel credits, but I might be changing my opinion when it comes to these two cards. So let's dive in and I'll tell you why. And if you're new here, thanks for clicking on this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below to see future videos. So let's start off with taking a detailed look at both of these cards and comparing them to other cards in a similar tier. Now starting with the green card, this card is a mid-tier travel card that has similar value to the Chase Sapphire Preferred, as well as the City Premier card. The green card has an annual fee of $150, which might be a little high for a mid-tier travel card, but I think the welcome offer as well as the points multipliers help make up for that. When you spend money with this card, you're going to earn American Express membership rewards points. Normally this card offers a 40,000 point welcome offer, but currently it's elevated to 60,000 points after spending $3,000 in the first six months of card ownership. You will also receive 20% back on eligible travel and transit purchases in the first six months of card ownership, up to $200 back. In terms of multipliers, you're going to be earning 3x back on airfare, hotels, cruises, tours, car rentals, campgrounds, travel purchases on third-party travel websites, and purchases made through Amex Travel. You will also earn 3x back on transit, including trains, taxis, rideshare services, ferries, tolls, parking, buses, and subways. You'll also earn 3x back at restaurants and 1x back on everything else. This card earns points back in categories that the Platinum card and Gold card don't, which I think gives this card a competitive edge up. The benefits this card offers is $189 clear credit as well as $100 lounge buddy credit. You'll also receive trip delay insurance. Now, when compared to the Sapphire Preferred, as well as the City Premier card, the Sapphire Preferred is going to earn 5x back on purchases through the Chase Travel Portal, 3x back on dining, grocery stores, and streaming services, 2x back on all other travel purchases, and 1x back on everything else. The City Premier card will earn you 10x back on travel purchases through the City Travel Portal, 3x back on air travel, hotels, restaurants, gas stations, and supermarkets, as well as 1x back on everything else. Now overall, I think these cards are pretty evenly matched, with each of them having a leg up in certain earning categories. Ultimately, I think it'll come down to which multiplier categories you can earn the most points in with your current spend. Now moving on to the American Express Everyday Preferred card. I don't think this card gets talked about enough. This card has an annual fee of $95 and has a current welcome offer of 15,000 membership rewards points after spending $2,000 in the first six months of card ownership. With this card, you're going to be earning 3x back at grocery stores, up to $6,000 each calendar year. You'll also earn 2x back at gas stations and 1x back on everything else. You will also earn 2x back on purchases made through the American Express Travel Portal. But here's where this card gets really good. You're going to earn 50% more points if you use your card 30 times or more in a billing cycle. That means those points multipliers turn into 4.5x back at grocery stores, 3x back at gas stations, and 1.5x back on all purchases, as well as 3x back at Amex Travel. Those multipliers make this a really powerful card. If you max out the 4.5x back at grocery stores, that's going to earn you 27,000 membership rewards points each year. Now, if you're like me and you need more than $6,000 at grocery stores each year, you could have a player two setup that would double that cap. Here's how that would work. You and a spouse or someone you wanna earn points with both open the everyday preferred card. You then make each other authorized users on the other person's card. So that way you both can spend money with the other card. Then for part of the year, start by using one person's everyday preferred card. Then once you hit that cap, go ahead and use the other person's everyday preferred card. That will give you a total of $12,000 to spend at grocery stores each year. And if you spent $12,000 on those cards in a calendar year, you would earn 54,000 membership rewards points between the two cards. And don't forget to give your player two your referral link to get a couple extra membership rewards points. 
Now, some other benefits that the Everyday Preferred card has is car rental loss and damage insurance. It is secondary coverage, but it's pretty cool that the card does have it. You also have access to return protection for items bought on this card. Now let's compare the Everyday Preferred card to the very well-loved Gold card. The Gold card has an annual fee of $250 and offers 4x back at restaurants as well as grocery stores. You will also earn 3x back on flights as well as 1x back on everything else. This card also offers a $120 Uber credit as well as a $120 dining credit. Now, I'm a big fan of this card because of that 4x back at grocery stores. All right, so if we pair the green card and the everyday preferred card in a setup, it would look something like this. The two card setup would cost $245. You'd be receiving 4.5x back at grocery stores, 3x back on travel and transit, 3x back on dining, 3x back on purchases made through Amex Travel, 3x back at gas stations, and 1.5x back on everything else. Keep in mind, you'll need to make 30 or more transactions on the Everyday Preferred card to get those elevated multipliers. You'll also be getting the Clear Credit as well as the Lounge Buddy Credit. Now, as I was writing this, I was very curious to know if this would be a good setup for me and my family. So I pulled together what my wife and I spend in a month for our family of four. I want to know which cards will earn me the most points. Now I'm going to simplify and round these numbers just to help out with this example. The first example we're going to look at is the month of April. It's a pretty typical month of spending for us. In that month, we spent $900 at grocery stores, $100 at restaurants, $150 at gas stations, and about $2,500 on additional purchases. If we used our gold card for all of those purchases, we would have earned 6,650 membership rewards points that month. If we had used the Everyday Preferred card and the green card setup, we would have earned 8,550 membership rewards points. That's a pretty big jump. Now, if we look at the month of March, my wife and I took a trip that month, which will help cover some of the travel categories on these cards. Let's start with the basic spending. We spent $900 at grocery stores, $250 at restaurants, $250 to gas stations, and about $2,500 of additional purchases. For the travel-related purchases, we used points and only spent $200 with the airline for taxes and a couple extras, $300 for a rental car, $100 on a tour. We also booked a campsite that month for $150. If we add this all up and spent everything on the gold card, we would have earned 8,500 membership rewards points. But with the green card and everyday preferred card, we would have earned 11,550 membership rewards points. Now, obviously, the gold card is not the ideal card for some of these travel-related purchases, and there's certainly other cards out there that can earn higher in some of these categories. But I just want to give you an idea of some of the earning potentials that the green card and the everyday preferred card have when compared, in this instance, to the gold card. After seeing these numbers, I think I'm really considering getting the everyday preferred card for my wife and I, and potentially the green card with that elevated welcome offer. The gold card has served me well for the last couple years, but I think the everyday preferred card's 4.5x back on groceries and 1.5x back on everything else is a pretty hard deal to beat. Part of that is also just dependent on what my current spending habits are. It may change in a couple years and maybe the gold card will suit me better. What do you guys think? Is the Amex Everyday Preferred card and the green card the underdogs in the Amex lineup? Or are there some other cards out there that you guys think are the underdogs? Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below for more travel tips and credit card reviews. Thanks.